Battle of the Unbeatens in the IFL as Ancona takes on Varese. Scorpions ahead 7-6 in the second half, and they build upon their lead. Ryan Griffin finding his brother, Matt Griffin, for the touchdown. Dolphins would battle back as quarterback Colin DeGalbo hits Mateo Dasani in the back corner of the end zone. The two-point conversion no good, so it's a two-point game. Scorpions still ahead fourth quarter. DeGalbo tucks it and finds the pay dirt himself, puts the Dolphins in front. The ensuing two-point is good, so it's 2014 Dolphins. Scorpions Super Bowl winning quarterback Ryan Griffin trying to lead his team to an Italian Bowl now. Let's his brother just go up and get it. The extra point good for the win as Varese stays undefeated with the one-point victory over Ancona. Well, these last three games, the Varese Scorpions have proven one thing. When you're trailing late in a game, get yourself a Griffin, or better yet, get yourself two Griffins. Yeah, and how about the connection? I mean, we know the storyline between these two. They never got to play together until they got to the IFL, and, man, they're making it count. I mean, the last last uh, second touchdown, I guess last quarter touchdown from Ryan to Mac. Mac goes up and makes an athletic play, pulls it down to put the Scorpions ahead and effectively win this football game. I mean, unbelievable, right? And it's so cool to see the storyline play out, to get a front row seat to it. What a, what a match. Two top-ranked teams going head-to-head -head and a lot on the line talking about uh, position in the playoffs. I mean, that first-round spot, there, that first, uh, the top spot in the playoffs gets a first round bye. So, I mean, the stakes were high, and the Scorpions are able to scratch and claw their way out of this thing with a victory. Certainly helps when you've got a 10 year NFL veteran at quarterback and the older brother, Ryan Griffin. His leadership ability has really transformed this team. Remember, they went 5 and 5 last year. They did it really without a meaningful passing game. Colin Braunholtz, their quarterback at the time, more of a runner than a passer. Ryan Griffin keeps this thing moving, man. It was marvelous to see what he did today against a really good Ancona defense. Yeah, and I said in the broadcast, I think he really just elevates the play of the guys around him. Obviously, Matt Griffin, but everybody else from that receiving core to the backfield to the offensive line. And then, you know, if you're a defense and you have an offensive that can an offensive production like that, all you have to do is just get a few stops. And most likely you're going to be in a chance to win this thing in the fourth quarter. Here's what's been so fun about the league this year. And we said this right at the end of our broadcast. We're going to have a really interesting 16 playoff. The Lignano Frogs beat the Parma Panthers this week, 55-50. Nobody would have seen that coming. All of a sudden, the Lazio Marines are playing really well. They've played their way into playoff contention. There's a whole lot of teams in this league nobody's going to want to see in the post in the postseason. Yeah, a lot of things we didn't see coming, but it's going to make the final sprint here at the end of the season for this top six very exciting. I mean, week in and week out, there are some surprises, right? And it puts each team you know, on notice, right? You have to be competitive every time you go out onto the football field. You can't take a week off. You have to be ready to compete because because you never know what you're going to get from each of these teams. The Varese Scorpions, last unbeaten team left standing in the IFL. They take out the Ancona Dolphins by one. Back to you.